On January 17, 2024, Samsung held their annual Galaxy Unpacked event, and that's where we saw the Galaxy S24 series for the first time. This one is a step up not just in terms of hardware, but also software, thanks to Galaxy AI. What's up guys, this is AK, and in today's video, we'll be looking at the Samsung Galaxy S24, more specifically, the new AI features. So when Samsung announced that they're bringing AI to their phones, I was kind of skeptical. I had a feeling that a lot of these features would be half-baked and would kind of feel like a gimmick. Also, I was partially annoyed because everyone is stuffing AI into literally everything. I don't think there's much time left before we see an AI toilet seat, which plays music every time you sit on it. I don't know, people come up with weird things all the time. Anyway, coming back, Galaxy AI has impressed me far more than I expected. They've blended these features so well into the software that it works well straight out of the box. Of course, a lot of these features feel like they came straight from the Pixel, but again, Google owns Android and they're partnering with Samsung to bring these features to Galaxy devices. So let's begin with my favorite feature, Circle to Find. Let's say you have an image of a shoe you really like, but you don't exactly know how to describe it. All you have to do is circle it and the phone will search for it on Google. It works a lot like reverse Google image search, but a lot easier and accessible. All you have to do is press and hold the home button and draw a circle around the object you're trying to search. Within seconds, you'll have the search results in front of you. This is probably the most useful feature in the S24 and I can foresee a lot of people using it. And while this feature can find a lot of things, it still can't find your girlfriend. Next there is live translation for calls. So let's say you're talking to a person or client who doesn't speak your language. With the Galaxy S24, their speech will be translated to a language of your choice in real time and vice versa. In fact, Samsung is so confident about this feature that they allow you to turn off the person's actual voice and only receive the translation. There's also an interpreter feature in case you're talking to someone who doesn't speak your language in person. I haven't gotten a chance to test it extensively yet, so I can't vouch for how well it works, but it exists and it will get better over time. Next up, there's Chat Assist. This one is especially useful for those who handle their work life and their personal life from just their phone. Say that you have a habit of talking in a very casual tone, the Samsung keyboard can translate your message into a more polite or formal tone, and vice versa. I think it's good that it's installed right onto the keyboard and is not an additional plugin or an app. Again, this feature takes a lot of long-term extensive testing, so I can't say how accurate it is, but the good part is that this can easily be fixed with the software update. Number four is generative edit. This feature is straight from the Pixel phones. You can now move around objects in your photos and the AI will intelligently fill in the spaces. Well, sometimes. This is great for when you miss that perfect framing or you have space constraints. However, when you do use this feature, there's a symbol at the bottom of the image indicating that this image has been modified using Galaxy AI. The next step is probably bringing Photoshop generative AI to Samsung phones. Slightly far-fetched, but if they make it happen, that'll be really cool. And while we're on the topic of generative AI, another cool feature that Samsung stole from Google is generative wallpapers. All you have to do is input a few parameters and Android will generate a bunch of similar looking wallpapers and you can choose exactly which one suits you best. You can even dig through settings and play an animation over the wallpaper depending on the weather conditions. Lastly, there's AI Summary. This feature will allow you to format and summarize notes right within the app. This is great for people who like to type everything out first and format later. This will automatically add headings and bullet points to your notes to make them more organized. This works for web pages and PDFs as well. It's a lot like uploading a document to ChatGPT and asking it to summarize it, but a lot simpler now than spilled right onto the phone. So if you're reading a long article about a complex topic, you can get the AI to summarize everything for you. Now these are just some of the many AI features that come with the Galaxy S24. This list is not exhaustive, but if you're keen on learning about literally every new AI feature there is, so you can make the most out of every new Galaxy S24, there's a menu in Settings, Advanced Features, Advanced Intelligence. There you can read about and customize all the new AI features. So like I said, many of these features are useful and interesting. Samsung and Google are two big companies that have implemented AI directly into their software. On the other end of the spectrum, there's Apple, which kind of looks like it's lagging behind. I'm hoping Apple will come up with a fitting answer during WWDC 2024, which should be happening in June like every year. Anyways, that is it for today's video guys. Hope you guys found this video interesting. If you did, drop a like on this video. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure to check out my other videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.